Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Uh, my name is Tony Butler. I'm one of the life sales directors here, and um, today's webinar is going to be in regards to mutual trust. I have Kip Walker um, with me. Um, and before we get started with today's topic, I just want to uh, bring attention to a couple of things um, here at um, IMS. Um, first and foremost, um, a lot of questions in regards to applications and, and e-applications, both on the life and annuity side of things. And just want to point out on our website, um, there's a couple of platforms to which you can do um, e-applications. Strongly recommend doing electronic applications uh, just simply because it's quick, it's easy. Um, you get the opportunity to get everything filled out up front. And the two platforms that we have as far as electronic applications are concerned are both from our website. One is iGo eApp Solutions. Uh, the majority of the life carriers that we work with um, go through iGo for eApps. And then we also have the Firelight platform to which you can get registered on our website to Firelight. And as you see here, um, here's a list of carriers that is on that platform. Um, our annuity carriers, electronic applications are on that platform. And then we have a couple of uh, live carriers that is on that platform as well. Also want to point out there's additional information on our website, whether you want to run live quotes, um, get product information um, in regards to the different products that the carriers that we work with. All of that can be found on our website. If you have trouble navigating through the website or would like a tutorial on that, um, just give us a call. I'd be more than happy to walk you through that process. We also have our Life and Annuity Academy dates for the most part uh, picked out here um, through the third quarter, I believe. And as you see here, here are some dates, um, one of which uh, we just had uh, with Athena in Des Moines. That was a very successful Life and Annuity Academy. Um, we do have one coming up uh, actually uh, in a few weeks, uh, North American. And then we also have a couple of IUL uh, universal, IUL Index Universal Life Academy, sorry. Um, one with North American in July and uh, another one uh, with Allianz here in August. Um, that is going to center around um, more life insurance in the IUL arena, um, as well as AG49B uh, regulations that uh, just rolled out here um, the first of this month. Um, do have a polling question in regards to the Academy, because if you are interested, would love to get you registered uh, for the Academy. I'm going to pull up a polling question real quick. Um, if you can respond to that, um, we can definitely get uh, more information out to you. So let me launch that and give you guys some time to respond to that. And for those of you that don't know, um, on the academies, that is something that IMS pays for. Um, we fly you in, pay for your lodging, and it's a two and a half day uh, training, if you will. Um, we have some of our top uh, agents that attend, talk about um, different sales ideas and strategies, what's working in the industry, uh, both in the life insurance and uh, annuity arena. So I'll leave this up for just a few more seconds, and then we will move on. Okay, let me go ahead and close that down. A couple of trips that we have on the docket. We have our Seaside Sanctuary. Um, it's an 18-month qualification period. Uh, the qualification periods that you see is from July 1st of last year all the way up until December 31st of this year. Um, we do have some agents, some advisors that have already qualified for this. Um, if you have questions in regards to uh, the trip, um, how you qualify, um, where you're at in terms of qualifying, uh, feel free to give us a call. I'd be more than happy to provide you with more information on that. And then, oh, let me back up here. Sorry. That was it um, for the introductions. Sorry about that, Kip. Got a new deck here and uh, forgot that that was the last one. 
Um, so I'm going to turn this over to you right now, Kip. All right. Sounds great, Tony. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, having a case of the Mondays, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You should have control now. All right. And you should see my screen. Yep. Okay. Good deal. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on a Monday here. I hope you all had a nice weekend. And uh, let's see if we can make this uh, a valuable time spent here. Um, let's go ahead and, and take notes, ask questions um, in order to make this valuable. That's really a great way to do that is to uh, write down some names. And um, if you have somebody in your book of business and your calendar on your desk, give us a call and uh, our sales development team can help you put a case together. And that's the, the best way to, to make this valuable. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a look at a new concept and who, who we're looking for, who's our client. Uh, we'll take a look at a case study and then a little bit about what's in it for you. So these are young families. This is our client, that's who we're looking for. And um, they're 25 to 40, uh, maybe newlyweds. Uh, they want guarantees, they want protection. Um, millennials are some of the more financially conservative groups out there, believe it or not. Um, so financially anyway. Um, and so they want guarantees in their life. Uh, they, they tend to be blue collar. I don't like that term, blue collar. It, these are just young families who, young individuals who are just starting out and they have big dreams and a lot of opportunity to move up. And so that's really what we're talking about there. Um, and they do need to be in decent health because hint, hint, we're talking about life insurance here. So what are they looking for? Well, like I said, they want to protect their family. Um, just, you know, in, in, if they die unexpectedly early or, you know, just ultimately down the road, they want to leave something to their family. But it needs to fit within their budget and it needs to be flexible so that it can change as their life evolves, as their financial life changes. They also want protection for that what if. At no point in your life are you more likely to die than to become disabled during your working life, especially. So uh, we really want to watch out for or take care of that what if. So here are traditional common solutions. You have group coverage, term, and GUL. We're gonna take a look at the pros and cons of each one. So group coverage, it's easy. You get that uh, with, with your employment, typically. It gives you that peace of mind that you're covered, and it's guaranteed. Um, just comes out of your paycheck every week. It's nice and easy. However, on the downside, if you leave your job, you lose the coverage. Um, there's also no cash value. There's no real flexibility, and the cost tends to go up every year. However, it is a good thing to have. And then typically we have term insurance. This is the primary um, coverage here. You have a fixed amount of coverage for a fixed period of time. And you also have some accelerated death benefit opportunities uh, with a lot of the coverage now. Um, however, it is temporary and uh, there's no real cash value building and there's no flexibility in it. It's kind of, you get what you pay for, which again, it's, it, it is what it is and it's great. Um, but there's there's more that we can do there, and really only about one or two percent of term policies ever pay out. But again, it's uh, something you really need to have. GUL, um, you have a level premium, you have a level death benefit, but there's no real, you know, and there's no termination date. It keeps going, but you have to keep paying the premium. Uh, there is possible cash accumulation, all right, but there's really no guaranteed cash accumulation. And even when it comes into existence, it kind of comes in and goes back out of existence, really. But even when it's there, you can't really use it without jeopardizing your death benefit. Uh, there's no real flexibility with GUL and no real exit strategy. Now, you do have the ability to, with many of these plans get uh, or policies, you get uh, half your cash back at year 15, all your premiums you paid in. You can get that back at year 15, maybe half of it in year 15, actually. And then you're like 23, 24, 25, somewhere around in there, you can get a full return of premium. But it has to be on their schedule. And if you don't take it, you'll never get it. Um, and life doesn't happen on a schedule. What if they need those funds, you know, year 14 or year two, three, you know? So it's really, you know, no real exit strategy. And, and it's, if you don't take it on their schedule, you don't get it at all. But again, GUL is great, great product for what it is. but we have another option for these folks. 
And that is a blend of whole life and term. Um, and what you, you really wanna make sure you have is a term that can be converted into a good um, participating whole life product because you have the guarantees of cash value, not just a rate of return, because that's a tricky term right there, but actually cash value growth. You know what it's going to be. That's the deal with whole life. You have cash value, you know it's gonna grow. It has to grow. Uh, there are no escape hatches in whole life. So that's the, that's the, the, tr the trade-off there is for more premium, you get more value. However, we can, we can uh, make it so that we can pair the term in you know any amount almost, with the whole life and then as the client's financial situation changes they can convert that term into more and more guaranteed death benefit and you also have um with the cash value growth you have the access to that cash value on very good terms um, especially these days with interest rates being more normalized um, you have right now we have um on this particular product i'm going to share with you it's a 3.75 percent interest rate which again Tricky term, but anyway, you have strong cash value growth and you have a 5% loan rate right now. So, you know, you can really access those funds and and use them um, on, on really good terms and you control it, you know, as far as accessing it and paying it back when you pay it back and things like that. It doesn't show up on a credit report, things like that. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. But uh, you also have accelerated death benefit as well. So um, the product that we use for this solution is called Horizon Guarantee and it has a chronic and terminal illness benefit and we just added critical illness as well so you have you have terminal chronic and critical all for no additional premium um, all the way down to table four so all your clients table four better will automatically get this and with the chronic you can accelerate the death benefit anywhere from five percent to 24 percent of the death benefit up to a million dollars each year uh, if you're diagnosed by your doctor as being unable to do two of the activities of daily living, two of the six, so, you know, feeding, bathing, transfer, that, that, those six that I can remember all of, but um, two of those, and then you can just certify by your own doctor as being unable to do two of those, and, and then you can accelerate the death benefit, use the money for whatever you want. That acceleration is income tax-free to the client. They don't have to show us any receipts or anything, so it's, they use it for whatever they want. Um, now, the critical that we just added, that has uh, triggers for uh, certain types of cancer, uh, heart attack, stroke, uh, kidney disease, kidney failure, and major organ transplant. So with those major triggers, you can accelerate and you get up to $25,000 per election. So that's per year. Um, on that, again, that's income tax-free. Um, so a lot of great additional benefits and premium. Um, the Horizon Guarantee is our um, low-cost whole life product. So it's a participating whole life product. You get the maximum death benefit for the minimum premium, and you still have dividends that you earn on top of that non-guaranteed. So very strong cash value, actually, even though it's built to be a low-cost product. Uh, now we pair that with a term rider, and you have two options for the term rider. You have a 10-year and a 20-year term rider. And that can be converted, and this is important, that can be converted into any of our whole life products in existence at that time. And that's different than what you see in the industry. Typically, you'll see a, um, a not so good product that you can convert to. It's like a special designated product that some carriers will have. But with us, you can convert into any of our whole life products. And so you can do that in whole or in part. You don't have to convert the whole thing. You can do it in chunks. And that's why this plan is so flexible because it can evolve in stages as the client's situation changes. So here is our case study. We have a little, um, I don't know who that, he looks like Toby McGuire <laughs> to me. But uh, anyway, 28 uh, year old, non tobacco, young guy. He wants a half a million dollars. He has $150 a month to spend. We designed the Horizon Guarantee for $130,000 in death benefit. That costs 115 bucks a month. You add the term rider on for the rest at $370,000 for $32 a month. So now he has a total of $500,000 in coverage with those put together for $147 a month. And by the way, we have a great uh, waiver of premium rider. And for only $7 more, he could 
guarantee that even if he can't work, Mutual Trust would pay the premium on both the whole life and the term portion of the premium just for $7 a month if he's unable to do his job. So think about how powerful that is. You have this foundation of your financial plan that will be funded even if you can't do your own job. So we're, we're, we're playing defense here, and that's a really strong defense, and especially just for $7 more a month. Uh, now, in year 20, uh, the, the whole life portion, the Horizon Guarantee, has a guaranteed cash value. So we're not even calculating in the dividends here. We're just looking at the guaranteed cash value is $20,000 in 20 years. So he could use that for emergencies, uh, to buy a car, um, what you know, uh, whatever the case may be, invest in a business. Um, he has access to that cash value guaranteed, no credit check, fill out a one-page form, send it in, you get your money in about three days. Um, so that's a powerful thing to have. It's, it's very powerful to have access to capital, uh, very important. Um, and a lot of times it's forgotten in the industry as to how important that is. But uh, anyway, you, you also down the road, you know, at age 65, he could stop paying premiums when he's retired. Maybe, you know, he's, his kids have grown now. They have their own jobs, uh, but he still wants to leave them something. He just doesn't want to pay the premium anymore. And so we could, because of that guaranteed cash value building in the policy, you have these opportunities now. Um, you have the option of stopping premium payments and having a guaranteed death benefit of a, almost $127,000 paid up. Okay, so he wouldn't have to pay anything. And now he has a, a little bit of a raise in retirement. Now he doesn't have to pay those premiums anymore and he can use that for medical expenses or what, whatever the case may be. So do we meet their objectives? Yeah, we're protecting the family. He has peace of mind. He has a plan that fits within his budget and can adjust over time. And for that, what if? What if I need in-home care, nursing home care, or just become disabled for a little while? So we have... Um, we have a concept that I hope that you can use and maybe start building your whole life big part, portion of your uh, business if you haven't already, uh, or if you're looking for something a little different, uh, some new and different ideas. We uh, Mutual Trust has those as well. Um, we are a company that is almost seven billion dollars in assets. A rated by AM Best and Fitch, um, been around for over 110 years, and um, you know, just a small enough that big enough that we can handle any business you bring our way, but small enough that you're going to be important to us before we're important to you. Uh, so uh, we get great, <clears throat> um, we have great um, customer service, and we're easy to do business with, and we hear that all the time, and we know how to get deals closed. Um, we also have uh, differences, and so next year we're going to Casa de Campo. Uh, if you have not signed up through Rhymes yet, if you do that, we will double your credit for the first four months of your contract. So that means, in a nutshell, that if you did $40,000 of base premium with mutual trust in those four months, for example, you could go to Casa de Campo. And uh, we have great summits, um, treat you like kings and queens, and uh, you know, scheduled and unscheduled fun. Uh, you even get a cash card to go have dinner on us uh, a few nights a week. So it's it's really cool. Um, and uh, this concept, it's it's simple. Uh, I think it's it's powerful. I think it will appeal to a lot of uh, young folks out there. So um, hopefully, this idea. Uh, fits with some of your clients. And if you have somebody in mind, please put write their name down, give us a call, and we'll be happy to help you work on that case. All right, and there's our sales development number. And you might want to start with Tony, though, first <laughs> um, to get contracted. So Tony, that's all I have. I'm happy to take any questions. All right, wanted to get off of mute here. Let's see here. All 
All right, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. All right. So before we get to the questions part, a uh, couple of polling questions real quick. Um, if you wanted to get additional information on today's topic, I do have a polling question for you. You want to respond to that, definitely get you more information. Looks like we got a few people that are going to be, that are responding. So we'll keep this up for a little bit as we're collecting responses. All right. And if you're not appointed with Mutual Trust and interested in getting appointed with Mutual Trust, I do have a polling question there as well. Collect some information there. Make sure to get that out to everyone. And then Kip, I've got a couple of questions for you while we have everybody on the line. Yes, sir. And today's environment, because we get a lot of calls um, in regards to life insurance, what are you seeing in terms of uh, trends as far as people looking to whole life insurance? Um, well, it kind of ebbs and flows. Mm -hmm. um, you tend to have more um, focus on guarantees and more interest, therefore, in whole life insurance mm -hmm. when things are looking very dire. I don't have the latest numbers, but um, if history is any indication as we kind of go into this um, forced recession that's going to be you know, coming our way, uh, if the Fed has its way, mm -hmm. um, you tend to see uh, greater uh, interest and higher, more sales in, in whole life. But it, it, it ebbs and flows. The whole, if you go back and look at the, the history of life insurance and the different incarnations and IUL and UL and term, it, it's not a one. Many people think that it's a one way street as far as how the market's going, but it really, it really does go up and down. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I think as we head into these more and more uncertain times, that uh, whole life does tend to um, increase in market share in those points. Um, but you know we're consistently in the high 20s, low 30s as far as market share goes for life premium. Okay. I think that was really important to, to point that out because again, you see a lot of um, interest in uh, a lot of people are are concerned about savings and retirement, and um, more and more conversations are being had in regards to life insurance as, as being one of those vehicles, especially when we're talking about whether it be IUL or or whole life insurance. I don't see that we have any questions, which you must have done a great job in terms of presenting. Um, but if anyone does have questions um, after today's webinar, you are more than welcome to reach out to myself, uh, Trina Murray, or Beth Recliffs. Um, there's our email addresses there, as you see, or you can give us a call at the 800-255-5055 number and just ask to speak, speak to someone in the life department um, as far as life sales is concerned. And lastly, for this content and other life or annuity um, webinar content, uh, you can um, like us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, you see there, um, we are on both of those platforms as well. Um, I do, Someone did ask if there will be a recording available. Yes, there will be. I'll make sure to get that out to you. But I don't see any other questions today. Kip, do you have any final thoughts, final words? Um, no, just uh, thanks again for uh, joining. Um, you know, Mutual Trust has a lot of stories to tell. We partner with a lot of different selling systems, and this is just one example. Um, so hopefully, if uh, you're interested in finding a, uh, a good participating whole life carrier, uh, you'll give us a look. And uh, thanks again. Have a great week. 
Kip, thank you. Um, you guys are definitely one of our uh, valued partners here in the industry, and we always appreciate uh, the things that uh, you offer to the agents and their clients, as well as the service that you provide, not just to the agents, but to us as well. So appreciate you taking the time out um, on your busy schedule to do this webinar. Um, thank you everybody that uh, uh, attended. We do appreciate uh, the time that you've taken out of your busy schedule as well. Uh, hope you guys have a great week and uh, we'll talk to you later.